This research attempts to exploit the idea of amplitude modulation in classical communication theory for a paradigm shift in antenna design. Here we report amplitude modulated liquid wave antennas. The idea of amplitude liquid antenna in this world is inspired by the amplitude modulation technique from the classical communication theory. It's well known that for the M of radio, we first have a K wave, and its amplitude is proportional to a baseband signal. Then the generated modulated wave is the M of radio wave. Conventional M of radio is operating in the time domain, while M of liquid antenna is in the spatial domain. For the M of liquid antenna, we first have an unmodulated slow K wave. Then we do the spatial free transform. We can see that there is only one spatial frequency impulse outside the visible region, as shown in the gray color here. So the wave can only propagate along the wave guiding structure and cannot be graded into free space. Then we introduce a baseband signal to modulate the carry wave. This is the waveform of the modulated wave and its spatial frequency distribution. We can see that there are three frequency impulses here. It's possible that the lower spatial frequency impulse can be flowed into the visual region and the corresponding wave radiated into free space. In this manner, the M of wave guiding structure can work as a high gain DQ antenna. Here we use the corrugated guide or spoon SBB transmission line as an example to realize the M liquid antenna. We modulate the width of the metal block of the corrugated guide to realize the sinusoidal amplitude distribution along the transmission line. The result shows that a high directivity beam can be generated. In fact, the modulated signal is not necessary to be a sinusoidal wave. Here we also use the spoon SPV transmission line as an example to synthesize a flat top radiation pattern. This is the design modulated signal, the 4K antenna port type, and its measured radiation pattern at 30 GHz. This work was conducted at the Stacky Laboratory of Terahertz and Millimeter Wave, City University of Hong Kong. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for your watching.